Welcome back, I am John P. Today we are going up close and personal, hands on with the two best Audemars Piguet Royal Oak alternatives in the year 2022. This is going to be the Chopard Alpine Eagle as well as the Gerard Perigo Laureato. As watch collectors, we know the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. This is the classic Gerald Genta watch that has gone on to inspire so many countless watches in that sport watch category. Think the integrated bracelet watches, think many popular watches we see today, notably many of them having blue dials, but nonetheless, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak is a watch that is truly iconic. Now, this watch, along with the Patek Philippe Nautilus, really have gone on to define the entire category that we have today, which includes the two watches we are about to talk about. Now, although there are other watches with similar designs, interestingly enough, these watches have comparable quality to the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. And with other factors contributing to this situation that we have here, it's really allowed these two watches to become great value alternatives to the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak without sacrificing things like quality, history, heritage, and other factors that truly make a luxury watch a luxury watch. So let's get right into it and start off with the Chopard Alpine Eagle. Chopart is a Swiss watch and jewelry manufacturer that was founded in 1860. Originally, Chopart was started with the focus of watchmaking only, though during the quartz crisis in the 1970s and thereabout, they shifted their focus more to jewelry, predominantly jewelry for ladies. Think the quartz crisis. Times were changing and there was a lot of uncertainty. They focused their shift away from watches, still doing them, but more into jewelry. Now, taking show part into the 1990s, into the early 2000s, things began to change. Watch collectors began to develop. This began to be a hobby for so many people, right? Ourselves included. And so show hard, they started to invest more into watches, starting with a model like the Mia Mia, which was so popular in the early 2000s. I remember all the celebrities wearing them. I'd see them in the shopping malls. But they also had a model called the Saint Moritz or the Saint Moritz. Now, this would eventually go on to be the model that we have today, the Chopard Alpine Eagle, which is inspired and very closely resembles that Chopard Saint Moritz. And this happened in autumn of 2019. And truly when this watch hit the stages, people truly were mesmerized by this dial. Now we're gonna talk a little bit more about the dial in just a second, but that really made a big bang. I even was talking about this watch when it was announced and talking about how nice the dial looked. Now, let me just say that the Chopard Alpine Eagle is a very serious watch. It's nothing to be laughed at. Some people like to say, oh, they make jewelry. Well, the brand started making watches and here they are today making a truly serious watch. Now, looking at the dial on this watch, you can see where the magic really is, right? It's in the dial. The rest of the watch is great, but the dial has it. I could say it all day, but there's something about this dial when the light bounces off and the colors come at you, it changes. It's something very reminiscent of a Grand Seiko uh, in my opinion, though it's distinctly different in some type of way where you know it's not a Grand Seiko. They, they put their own little flair on that textured dial that, in my opinion, is quite incredible. Now, it's not just the dial that makes this watch great. It has a phenomenal movement as well. The movement is actually going to be a show part in-house caliber and this is going to be the caliber 01.01C, which is chronometer certified by COSC. So it's a really great movement within a couple of seconds per day, either way. And it runs at 28,800 vibrations per hour. 
If you set it down, the power reserve is going to give you 60 hours. So certainly more than sufficient. Now, not just the movement is there. Also, the case construction is great. It's fine. It's more than fine because Chopart developed their own steel called the Lucent Steel. This is what they call the A223, which is at least advertised as 50% more strong than any other steel. Now, even just setting aside a claim like this, because it's a very big claim, right? 50% more strong. What does that mean? I don't think it matters a whole lot, at least in my opinion, because it does feel really nice and smooth and buttery. This is something I like to describe steel on watches as sometimes when it goes above and beyond the finishing that is normal for watches out there. There's something about this lucent steel that they figured out, whether it's the polishing or the formulation or the metallurgy that was used here. They did something that makes the watch just so nice to wear and not abrasive on the wrist, doesn't pull the hair, it's very comfortable. Now, this particular watch that we're viewing here is sized at 41 millimeters, though they do have a couple of other offerings in sizes as well as metals and dials. So there's a 36, there's a two-tone version of the watch, there's a gray dial, and they've been changing certain things. They've had limited editions as well. So I'm very excited to see what Chopart does with this particular model going into the future because I think they did just such a great job and it makes for a phenomenal Audemars Piguet Royal Oak alternative. Now, moving on to probably my favorite integrated bracelet watch here. This is going to be a Gerard Perigo Laureato. Now, if you watch this channel, you know that I talk about the Gerard Perigo Laureato as an alternative to so many watches so much, right? This is a fan favorite, me being the fan, this being my favorite. And interestingly enough, the Gerard Perigo Laureato also has a quite rich history and heritage behind it. This is not a new entrant. This might be a newer brand to be discovered by some collectors because it's not as popular as something like a, an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. But Gerard Perigo started in about 1791, though not using the Gerard Perigo name. Eventually, they took on that name in 1856, but they've been making watches pretty much ever since. They never deviated away. The quartz crisis didn't stop them. They survived all the trials, tests, and tribulations. They're here today, and they're back better than ever. Now, the Laureato was launched in 1975, so three years after the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, which was in 1972. So this was competing directly with the Royal Oak when Gerard Perigo launched the Laureato, the reference 8010. I actually really like this reference. But today, they have a current version of the watch that was Launched in the years 2016 going into 2017, that is, of course, not only inspired, but the modern rendition of that Laureato. No, that is what we see here in a 42 millimeter version. Now, there's also a 38 millimeter version, which I personally have owned in the past that I loved and enjoyed, but we're viewing the 42 millimeter version here. Now, right away, you're going to notice the dial. The dial features that distinct Claude de Paris pattern on it that looks kind of like a waffle, but a little bit different because of the pyramid texture. Now, this is something that's becoming more popular on watches. Today, more of a vintage style slash retro, think 80s Wall Street. But today, it's even used uh, on the most recent iteration of a Patek Philippe Calatrava. There'll be a picture here. So this is a pattern that's coming back, and Gerard Perigo may have been the first modern user of this pattern once again. I'll have to fact check myself on that, but they've certainly gotten it back into the collector's eye. Now, the Gerard Perigo Laureato, once again, it has a very fine movement attached, much like the show part that runs it. This is gonna be the GP01800 movement, which does feature a 54 hour power reserve. And much like the movement on the show part, it's gonna be very finely decorated. It's going to be of something that you would expect for a watch that is north of 10,000 US dollars. Now, overall, the watch does wear very nice and comfortably on the wrist. Side-by-side -side comparison, you can kind of see a difference in thickness there between both of the watches. The steel on the Laureato, I'll interject my opinion, it's not polished to the same kind of refinement as something 
like the Chopart Alpine Eagle, but that's just a more polished, shiny watch, which is probably intended less for sporting than something like the Laureato is, which gives off, in my opinion, more rugged kind of uh, aesthetic and vibes. So here we have it. This has been the Gerard Perigo Laureato as well as the Chopart Alpine Eagle. My choices for the two best alternatives to the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak in the year 2022. But why did they make the list? Aside from the fact that the Laureato happens to be one of my favorite watches, well, the reality is both of these watches have the heritage, right? Both of these watches have the history behind the brands and the models. They both have quality cases, really well-finished cases, and the quality of the steel, let's not forget. Also, the movements are finely decorated, even though these are sporting watches. The dials are both excellent, something unique. They're not just plain flat dials. Extra textures were added and used. I like them. And also, they both have the integrated bracelet design and that type of interesting shaped bezel, which makes it the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak alternative. Now, these have been my choices, but what are yours? Do you have an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak alternative or maybe you're just not a fan of the integrated design and that's okay too. I would love to see it and hear it in the comments below. Please do not forget to check out delraywatch.com where at least in the shooting of this video, we had these watches in stock. And do not forget to check me out on Instagram, the real John P. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. You've been chatting with John P.